moment. Take a deep breath. See yourself sitting here, floor beneath you, ceiling above you. We're going to grow roots down through the floor, grow them down through the basements, into the soil far beneath you, and grow the roots down and around the deeper into soil, around the rocks, around the boulders. Keep on going down until you find the bedrock far beneath you. And as you find the bedrock, spread out and search for those waters far beneath the earth. And when you find those waters, put your roots into it and slowly drink up those waters into your roots. These waters of chaos, the powers of potential from far below. And slowly bring these waters up and feel these cool waters running up into your feet. And as you take it in every breath, bring the waters further up and feel them going through your legs and into your loins. And as these cool, crisp waters come up further, take another breath and bring them into your belly, bring them into your chest. See yourself filling up with these cold waters from below as you continue breathing and bring them up into your head. With your next breath, bring them up further and out of your head and out of your hands, flowing back into the earth as if you're a fountain of these waters. And feel these waters Feel these powers running throughout your body. Then turn your focus skyward. Grow your branches up through the roofs, up through the sky, until you can find that one star directly above your head. The fires of order, another power of potential. We're going to reach up with our branches. We're going to grab these fires from above. With each and every breath, we could bring these fires down. Feel them coming down into your hands and into your head, warming you up. And with each and every breath, it comes further and further into your chest, and into your belly. By now, if you look at yourself, you should see yourself glowing with the fires from above, mingling with the waters from below. And keep on pulling the fires down to your loins with each every breath down further into your legs and into your feet. Take a moment and see the waters coming up from below and the fires coming down from above. See the mix throughout your body, filling you with the powers of order and chaos, the raw powers of potential. Take of all these energies, all that you need, bring yourself back to your center. Bring yourself back to where you normally are and take a little bit more. And once you've done this, push the waters back down into the earth, push the fires back up into the sky. And know that if you ever need these powers, you can always reach down, you can always reach up. But for now, bring your roots on in, bring your branches on down. Take a deep breath in and out, in and out. When you're ready, open your eyes, prepared for ritual. <laughs> Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us, you feed us, you shelter us. You provide homes for all of our animals, friends. Right place to grow for all the plant friends. And all you do for the unseen can too. Without you, we would not be here. Without you, we would not be fed. We would not be sheltered. For all that you do for us throughout our daily lives. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods the land spirits and the ancestors. But before we go, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty wells, you run deep into the earth. You are in the lands of the ancestors. You are a path to the ancestors. 
to you we offer the silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. And mighty fires you burn and you transform. You send up into the heavens all that we offer. The forms of smoke. To you, we offer you this incense. We say, sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. In mighty tree, your roots run deep into the lands of the ancestors. Your branches run high into the sky, to the lands of the shining ones. You are a path between all the worlds. If you water from the well and fire from the, or incense from the fire, and we say, sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree grow within us. And my grove and all of our groves, by the light of the water, and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. We call to the gatekeepers, to all of you who have aided us in the past, we call to you once more. We ask that you watch over us as we do our works this evening, to guard us and protect us as we walk your holy roads. Take our messages far and wide so they may be heard, and bring back to us all that we need to hear. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers all. Accept our offers. And now, gatekeepers, join your magic with ours. Let the fires open as the gates to the upper worlds. Let the wells open as a gate to the underworlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds. Open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. Now we call on the ancestors, to all of those who have walked this earth before us, all of those of our families, our kin, we offer you welcome. To all of those of our chosen family, our mentors, our inspiration, we offer you welcome. And to all of those of this very earth, you who are here long before us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. To the land spirits, to all of you of fur and feather, scale and skin, or animal kin, we offer you welcome. To all of you of leaf and twig, stem and flower, or plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of the unseen, our house spirits, our land spirits, we offer you welcome. Come. And join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And to the shining ones, to the gods and goddesses of other days, you who we call our matrons and patrons, we offer you welcome. To all of you that are unknown to us, yet watch over us, we offer you welcome. And to all of you who take special interest in us, and guide us even though we may not know it. We offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Now, if there are offerings you wish to make, please feel free to make them. Watch over all those that need your assistance. And God then made them as they need. There are no further offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, we have given to you, we give to you one last time. And with this, we ask the gift commands a gift that you give us blessings in return. 
Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, we ask what blessings do we receive? The ancestors, they give us stores on us, the thorn. It could be protection, it could be the thorn in the side. The land spirit, what blessings do you give? The land spirits give us one job, the ruin of happiness and joy. And shining ones, what blessings do you give? <laughs> they give us English. Ruin of prayer, fertility. The blunt reading of this is don't forget to wear the condom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's reminding you to watch yourself as you as you are having fun. But have your fun. Be fertile in the ways that you need to be fertile, whether that is prayer, sexuality, or some other form of fertility, like art or writing, or music, or whatever it may be. But go out and enjoy it. And the ancestors have your back. That's how I'm reading this. Do we accept these omens? We do. Ancient and mighty ones we have given to you. And you have returned to us these wonderful omens. Fill our waters in each and every one of our homes. Fill them with thorsaws, the thorn for protection. Fill them with wonjo for joy and happiness. Fill them with ingots, fertility in all the forms that it comes. Fill our waters with the omens. Behold, the waters of life. Behold, the waters of life. Oh, right. Let's now thank all of those who have aided us. Shining ones, unknown to us of this place, and those who we call patrons and matrons, for all that you do for us throughout our days, and all you've done for us tonight. Shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. To the land spirits, you are animal kin, be you our plant kin, or be you the unseen kin, for all you do for us throughout the weeks and all you've done for us tonight. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the ancestors, be your own kin, be your chosen kin, or be you of this very earth, for all that you do for us. Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. We call on the gatekeepers once more. You have aided us. You've opened the roads between the worlds. And you have brought back these wonderful omens. For all that you have done for us tonight and all you've done for us throughout the days. Gatekeepers, we thank you. Gatekeepers, we thank you. We ask you once more join your magic with ours. Let the fires become but flame, but the waters, wells become but water. Let the trees become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, we honor you first and we thank you last. For you are that important to us both individually 
and within this ritual. We cannot say thank you for all that you do for us, but for now we do say thank you for aiding us tonight. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this right has ended.